Welcome to my Light Show channel for another gloving video. Today in this video I'm going to give you a basic understanding of what to look for in an LED glove set. If you stay to the end of the video you'll know exactly what you want out of a glove set so that you can avoid wasting money on a product you regret. Because after 20 years of gloving there's been an overwhelming amount of different chips made and it can be difficult to decide what you want in a chip set. First things first let's deal with the elephant in the room. This being the pre-wired gloves or worse party lights. Wired glove sets, or pre-wires, are cheaply made gloves with a single battery pack in the wrist that powers each finger light. The wires that connect the battery to the fingertip lights are obviously where the name comes from. These lights will shine in dim contrast to quality gloving lights that are powered individually by coin cell batteries. If you're like 90% of people, you're finding this video only after you've purchased your first glove set, and you've realized that that glove set was an absolute piece of garbage. But you, in your heart of hearts, knew that it was going to be bad because it cost you anywhere from $5 to $20 from some second page Google search back alley cheaply produced light toy store. There is no shame in this. This is exactly how I got my start. After purchasing the cheapo wired set and going to my first EDM show, I was able to compare my dim crappy lights to a set of what I now know to be EDOTs. The comparison was unquestionable. But the reality is that most people aren't able to make that comparison until after they've purchased the lower quality wired set. Now for the real meat of the discussion. Bulbs versus programmable chips. After your first steps past wired gloves into micro light culture, you'll discover things aren't so simple as wired gloves make it seem. The most basic version of individual finger lights is a simple LED bulb with two prongs that create a circuit when connected to the coin cell batteries. This circuit is then housed in a plastic case with a pressure switch that can make or break the connection, turning it on or off. Lights like this are typically called dots or e-dots, and the first versions were called photons and ravens and they were produced by LRI. These lights can be very bright but they are very difficult to change the batteries and they definitely do not have any amount of customization capability on the fly. On the fly customization is where the more complex lights start to shine. In 2010, gloving companies started designing micro light chips with prong slots for removable bulbs. These chips could be as simple as a circuit board with an on off switch soldered onto it to as complex as the Micromax Pro which had a microcontroller programmable with dozens of flashing patterns regardless of the bulbs in use. Then in 2013, standards shifted to micro lights that have programmable four prong RGB LED lights attached with a complex enough microcontroller to provide color customization as well as flash pattern choice. For an extensive list of the vast variety of both bulb chips and programmables, see the link in the description. But now this is where the opinions will start to get heated. Which is better, bulbs or programmables? Obviously programmables, right? Because otherwise they wouldn't have integrated the bulb if replaceable bulbs were better, right? Well, yes, but actually no. While ease of customization of color is obviously lacking compared to programmables, the ability to change color set via changing the actual bulb itself provides an advantage of crisp, vivid colors. Bulbs that are made with specified diodes for specified colors will outshine RGB mixed colors in terms of both brightness and clarity. The main drawback to bulbs is that previously stated increase in difficulty to customize, but that also comes with a cost involved with getting a new color set because each bulb set costs money. The main advantage of RGB programmables is the fact that most people aren't color snobs. Not very many people can actually tell the difference between individualized bulbs and RGB mixing. So in the end, customization usually wins out. Programmables have come so far as to have Bluetooth connectivity, color randomization, and even flash pattern creation. The world of colors is at your literal fingertips. The only real drawback to programmables is the reality that wear and tear will eventually stress the bulb connections. Replaceable bulbs make for longer lasting micro lights. Another con could be considered Glover's block for color sets. It can be hard to create good sets unless you have time to experiment and know a little bit about color theory. Of course, 
all of this is alleviated by the color sharing groups on social media and the Spectra app, which allows you to upload and download user-made sets. So it's not really much of a con. The real con here is the fact that I still want to buy more bulbs, though. <laughs> Please help me. So anyway, if you've stumbled on this video while looking into your first, second, or hell, even thousandth gloving purchase, I hope I've cleared up some confusion about what the different companies are going to be offering. Now, I didn't go into too much detail about the specific micro lights from specific brands. But the reason for that is there's just so many of them throughout the history of gloving. If you are interested in the different micro lights throughout history, check out my book, Mastering the Art of Gloving. There is a micro light guide and it will tell you more specifics about all of the history of micro light chips. If you're looking for more places to buy micro lights, see the links in the description and the pinned comments. I'm of course sponsored by eamazinglights.com and I suggest you use my code JUST3M for 10% off if you choose to buy either the Chroma Evo, you know, that one with my face on the box, or that other small programmable chip, I, I don't know, whatever they have. I've also linked the buy sell trade group on Facebook for microlights, so you'll be able to search for valuable relics of gloving history as well as find the niche gloving companies that still make bulbs like Visual Kingdom, LED Cat, and another one that my homie PM Toasty runs. He's actually the one who runs the group as well, so he's got lights and bulbs for sale on the regular. Now if you've made it this far into the video, you are an absolute legend. So smash that like button to help me show up in more feeds. Please tell me what glove set was the first ever glove set you got in the textulars below. My personal first glove set was a really cheap wired set, like I said, but I actually got the Alice in Wonderland EDOT set from Amazing Lights soon after that. One last time, I'm going to remind you to check out my book, Mastering the Art of Gloving, the Literal Handbook, at yougotmoves.com backslash handbook. That's yougotmoves.com backslash handbook. And a huge blessed thank you to everyone who has already purchased their book. The first run is almost sold out. Blessed trails, fellow finger freaks. And remember, it's better to be weird than boring.